Let's translate Leviticus 20, verse 13. Va'ish asher yishchav et zachar mishkave isha toeva asa shenehem. Moth yumothu the mehem bam. And a man who sleeps with a male as sleeping with a woman. The two of them do abomination. Surely they will die their blood upon them. So we've kind of seen this verse before, but it came earlier in Leviticus 18. Now we see the penalty for the act. So we have a man who, no, this isn't a man who. In this case, a share here is functioning more, not as a relative pronoun, but as a conjunction. What's interesting, though, is translations are kind of split. The ESV, the NIV, the KJV, they all have asher here as conditional, if. A few translations, uh, such as Lexham, Young's, and most importantly, the Septuagint, translates asher as a relative pronoun. But it seems here that it is conditional if a man if a man sleeps with a male now we've seen this before this construction of uh shachav plus zakar plus another shachav or in this case mishchav uh, because it's a noun and it's mishchav isha When we see this, it's a man sleeping with, which is to have sex with, a male. And it's comparative, as with a woman, as sleeping with a woman. So it's drawing a natural comparison between sleeping with a male as one would sleep with one's wife. Sleeping with a male, the two of them commit an abomination. An abomination is something detestable. Now, what's interesting is we have moth yumathu. Moth yumathu. Both of these are the verb moth. We have moth infinitive absolute, plus we have hofal imperfect third masculine plural. When you have an infinitive plus an imperfect like this, and they are the same verb, it's creating emphasis. Now, if you look it up in Halo, you'll see the the gloss or rendering, they will endure death. If you look it up in BDB, Brown Driver Briggs, you'll see be put to a violent death, which is stronger than surely die. So it's very emphatic here. The two of them will die and their blood will be upon them, meaning they have no excuse. They did what they did. They chose to do it. They suffered the consequences. And so we can translate this. A man who sleeps with the male as one sleeps with a woman The two of them have committed an abomination. They will be put to a violent death. Their blood is upon them. And that's Leviticus 20, verse 13. If you found this video helpful, hit the like button. Otherwise, check out the videos for Hebrew and Greek, and we'll see you next time.